There's an ancient Chinese proverb that says the journey of a thousand miles begins with just one step. This is your first step. So you want to become a web developer. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, if you're coming here expecting a polished teacher or someone who speaks well, you could probably move on. I'm not your guy. Listen, I'm just going to be real laid back. I'm going to sit back in front of my computer and just uh, act as if you were sitting behind me looking over my shoulder, and I'm going to teach you how to be a web developer. Um, I am a senior level developer. I do it every day for a living. Um, YouTube is not my full-time job. Uh, making videos is not my full-time job. I'm not even good at it, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. I also have a speech impediment. I pronounce things really weird, and I'm going to stumble a lot. But I know web development. I know how to start from the very beginning knowing nothing and get to where you want to go. See, I didn't go to college for this. I taught myself, um, and I think I can teach you as well. So I think the best way to do this is break it down in chunks, okay? Because web development isn't hard. Well, it's a little hard, but it's not impossible. It's just like really big. And if you just go online and try to learn how to how to be a web developer, you're going to find tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, and you'll never get to the point of actually building anything. Maybe that's been your experience. Maybe you started to learn this before and gave up. Uh, my goal is to take you from beginning to end, and honestly, some of you won't make it through this. You'll decide that this isn't something that you love to do. And if you don't love to do this, you're probably not going to make it. You have to fall in love with development uh, in order to become good enough to continue to do it, okay? So don't feel bad if you start this and you decide this isn't for you, or maybe I'm not for you as a teacher. Um, there are plenty of great teachers out there uh, on the internet and on YouTube. That's how I learned. Um, or maybe you just decide that development's not for you. That's okay too. This is a good place to start. Maybe you're going, you're thinking about going to college to do this. Uh, well, it'd be good to learn ahead of time and see if this is something you actually want to do. Okay. So that's a little bit about me and what to expect from me as a teacher. Um, I'm not going to have the best setup. I'm not going to have the best uh, snazzy videos. I'm not going to script anything ahead of time. I'm just going to sit down, turn my camera on, and start recording. Okay? So that's what you can expect from me. Let me show you some of the projects that we're actually going to build. All right. So you can actually see a sneak preview of some of the syllabus that I have up here in front of me. But some of the projects we're going to build, um, one of our first projects is going to be a procedural PHP project because we're going to start with older technologies and move our way through to newer technologies so that you can see how the web kind of morphed and, and transitioned to some of the newer technologies. And you're going to learn just how to build uh, a website or an application uh, using any technology that you love, okay? And I'm going to show you many different ones. But the first one we're going to start off with is a procedural uh uh, web app, just a login registration system where you can, you know, you can go and you can register and then you can log in. And then uh, if you log in, it's going to, if you log in, you're going to, you're going to be able to uh, log out. Uh, you can also reset a password um, and so on and so forth. So we're going to use uh, HTML and CSS and PHP. So before we start this project, we're going to go over the basics of HTML, CSS, um, PHP, and some of those other things. And then we're going to jump into this project because I think the best way to learn is not spend forever learning HTML or CSS, but to put those technologies into practice and build a small project that will kind of teach you how to put it all together. So we're going to build that and then we're going to step up and we're going to learn some uh, object oriented programming. And uh, again, with PHP, and we're going to build uh, a CMS system where we can create these articles and we can go in and read more and see the articles. We can, uh, we can segment them by authors or even tags like sci-fi and make our own tags. Uh, there'll be some pagination. There'll also be an author portal where you can add uh, categories, you can add articles you can add more users or authors uh, to this and so if you click on add article you can add a title you can make it private or public you can give it a category uh, you can upload the featured image for it um, and then it will be 
put on the website. And so this is built with uh, our own MVC framework that we're going to make for this. And everything's going to be done with object-oriented programming. So that'll take you from an original project using uh, procedural PHP to a more um, organized and more robust system for building an application. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump off of PHP. We're going to learn Node.js and we're going to build an API using Node.js. And we're going to basically create an API so that we can later build a standalone front end React app. So this is uh, a to do and contact application that you can log in and register. Uh, it's not that pretty as far as colors. I didn't spend a lot of time or whatever, but you can make a new to do. And you can see that it doesn't refresh the page. This is a single page application that's running. Even when I go to a new page, it's not refreshing. So this is a single page application uh, that you can do. And we're going to build this out of React JS. Uh, this will be kind of one of the last projects that we do. Um, but we will, there'll be plenty more opportunities to learn. I'm going to create after you've gotten to the point of being job ready because you've learned all the basics that you need to know to, to step in as a junior developer somewhere. Um, I'll have other modules put together too that if your job requires you to know additional things that you didn't learn, you can go and learn those uh, as separate modules. Uh, one thing that I'll commit to you guys is that this will always be free, the entire course from start to finish, becoming a web developer, and the modules will be free as well. Um, so I'm going to prioritize putting all of these on alternative tech because I don't want to keep propping up YouTube. Um, so they'll be on many alternative tech sites. And also I will put it on my personal website at some point. And um, there maybe I'll put some sort of donation thing. So if you get something out of it and get a job and you want to donate and uh, that way I can continue to help other people, that'd be awesome. Uh, but I hope this is a blessing to you. And uh, in the next uh, video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the mindset. What does it take to actually be successful in a learning to do this? What what does your mindset need to be? Okay, and it's important that we start there because if you don't have the right mindset, again, you're not going to be successful. Um, we can learn see it. We can learn syntax and uh, programming languages all day long, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be a successful web developer just because you've learned this stuff. So we're going to talk about a little bit of what it takes inside of your mind uh, in order to be successful at this. So I'll see you in the next video.